Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be making some music with the Real Guitar Classic. Let's jump right into it. So first off, here's what we've made. All right, now let's make it real quick. So uh, to jump off, I actually don't know what we've made quite yet. I kind of have an idea of what I'd like to do. Uh, something along the lines of like a, a chord thing. Some, you know, kind of like that, kind of be a, a nice thing. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, let me bring up the tools and we're gonna go to the piano roll. And so the real guitar itself has a whole bunch of neat things. We can go in and I like to mess with these things typically either while I'm making the line and it occurs to me or afterwards to see you know what else I can I can get out of it. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. So the first thing I'm thinking is we're gonna have something like this. Okay, there we go. We should need we need to be and these are all super loud right now. So let's just uh hear this. So we're gonna do this sort of back and forth motion. Could be kind of cool faster. Okay, so I have this ring out the whole time, so we'll go ahead, we'll keep that too. All right, so we will do the same thing over here. Doo -doo. And we're just gonna go up to an F, so we'll take this, boom. And this up to an A. A flat, my bad. And then uh, on these two, I think it'd sound a lot more natural if they were extended over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. We just get a nice little, nice little chord thing going on. Go down to an F and put that there. And we'll grab these and we'll make this. And then they, they're gonna, it's gonna overlap in kind of a weird way if I want the ringing to sound natural. So it'd be like that. <laughs> And then, okay, at this point, I'd begin to add other instruments. Like, for example, uh, we could totally use a piano right there. All right, so I made this basic uh, piano part. And so there's that. Just wanted to fill in the idea a little bit. And uh, just to show you sort of just how intelligent the real guitar is, it's uh, pretty crazy. Check it out. It just sort of picks. So that's pretty nice. Now we could come into key switches and there's a couple of things we could look at. We could check out the mutes, um, which could be kind of cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn them all on. And I'm gonna move it off to the side here because it could be a bit tricky every now and then lining up the MIDI notes. So let's just go ahead and hear this thing with the mute key switch on, which the mute is on uh, D1. So if we go to, I believe it's D3, yeah. This will mute everything. Or we could just have it on like, <laughs> maybe right here. So 
So that could be a cool thing. I'm not going to use that here because it's going to be a bit weird. They have some neat harmonic things if we want to get a little fancier as well as some slides. Uh, let's just see here. I honestly think this is this is all right the way it is. To add the extra little bit of realism, we could come in and they've got some fret noises. Uh, that could be just a little bit more convincing. So... Maybe right there. And then we could have these. I think these would happen, you know, just a little bit before the transition. So maybe right there. And then if we come into the humanize area, they've got a randomization for pick position, which uh, I think is always kind of worth turning on in most cases. All right, let's fill out the idea just a little bit more. Uh, get some guitar and some drums in here. So uh, let's go ahead, let's just build it in like this. So on this pattern, we'll bring in a uh, the real eight. That'll sound real nice. And yeah, where are you? Over there. Okay, cool. So this is the real eight. We're gonna go ahead and just. Okay, I just cloned the piano part over. Uh, I think it'd be kind of nice to have it follow the piano line. And the real eight, uh, we're gonna send this through an amp. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a spot. We'll open up a guitar rig real quick and just toss a bass amp on it. All right, cool. Uh, the other thing that we might do here is instead of this, we could just have it pedal the low end. It'd be kind of a boring bass line or whatever. So just go like that. And uh, we're gonna turn this down just a smidge. Okay, so I added a few things here and I added some drums and Sound like that. Okay, so one other thing I'm going to do to this is if you come in to the key switch area again, so come to the key switch area and on the higher notes, you're going to see fret position. So you're able to change the fret position. Now they have the toggle on for these. I recommend turning this off usually. It's basically you could put the key switch there and it would just stay there, uh, where if you turn it off, it'll only go to that position or force that position, I should say, when you have the note there. And I find this to be the way I like to work with it usually. So anyways, have that turned off. And right now you can try the different fret positions. And sometimes, I mean, I don't play guitar, so I don't know how ridiculous some of these things are, but I just see it as a way to change the sound. And sometimes it gets a pretty nice sounds out. So for example, if we were to lose this, this is what we have now. And if we go ahead and change uh, back, so that's with the new fret position for that one. We could uh, try out a different one. And just to show you on the uh, plugin versus the other one. I like that one more. Get a little bit more of the the ringiness out of the the lower end. I don't know if they have a word, word in guitar lingo for this. I've never heard it. Uh, but uh, I really like this top end one. And I could see possibly going down to a different fret position for another part of the song. Uh, so I'm going to keep this one. And let's just hear it. I'm kind of curious across the whole way. This one should be different. Um, it didn't go back though. Should have. Do I have that note up there? No, I don't. Okay, so we can reset this to to a lower position for this part. Go ahead.
excited to have this keep going. So we're gonna wrap it up here. This is what we have. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.